Well, that's going to do it for the Fox 5 News at 5. I'm Derry Alexander. I'm Ernie Anastas. Fox 5 News at 6 starts right now. Right now on Fox 5 News at 6. I had to call. He died. Died! A mother's heartbreak. Her son was trampled to death while working at Walmart on Black Friday. And tonight, she is sharing her pain with Fox 5. Good evening, everyone. I'm Harry Martin. We're going to begin tonight, though, with a Fox 5 weather alert. It's nice outside right now, but expect some snow later tonight. How bad is it going to get? Here's New York Weather Authority Nick Gregory with some answers for us tonight. Nick. Hi, Harry. We're going to be watching that snow arrive uh, probably in the wee hours of Tuesday morning, first in the form of some light rain because temperatures are still uh, pretty mild for this time of the year. In fact, it's hard to believe we're even talking snow when we got into the 50s today. I slipped back towards the city, 53, 54 Jersey Shore, even up the Hudson. It was in the mid 40s, but the north wind is moving in now. North northeast wind temperatures are headed down 38 Poughkeepsie, 42 on the island, 41 Jersey Shore, and we do have winter weather advisories. They're not up for the city yet, but they do cover uh, much of northwest and central New Jersey. In the blue area here is winter uh, storm watches. That's down in Ocean County. And again, we're watching the moisture stream in from the west here. Initially, it'll be in the form of a bit of light rain, and then it'll change to a little light snow. The worst of it will be for tomorrow afternoon. So I'll time that out, what your morning commute's going to look like and how much snow we'll get coming up just a bit. And breaking news right now, police are investigating an accident in Saddlebrook, New Jersey. We are hearing that a woman was hit by a school bus there. Let's get right to Chris Christian, Skyfox HD for the latest. Chris? That's right, Harry. Take a look. We're in the Saddlebrook area of Bergen County along the Fairlawn Parkway off of Medelec Avenue. You can see that short Atlantic Express school bus apparently struck a woman at about 3.20 this afternoon, and now we're getting word that those injuries may be very serious. You can see a number of investigators out here next to the bus gathering evidence, taking pictures and the like. The area, uh, or I should say that block, has been cordoned off. You can see they have shut down that street. Again, that's Medelec at Fairlawn. Lawn Parkway, of course, as we get new information on that woman's condition, we will let you know. In the meantime, no word on if there were any children on board the bus, but at this point, at this point, no reports of any other injuries. Harry, back to you. All right, Chris, thank you very much. Other news tonight. She lost her son in an awful tragedy. He was working at Walmart on Black Friday when he was trampled to death. Tonight, she is speaking out for the first time. Fox 5's Mike Sheehan with the story. And at the call, he died. Dying! Oh, no. Heartbroken over her only son's senseless death, Marie Telesmond, who does not want her face shown, finally has the courage to speak out. Until my son died, I never sleep my two months. No sleep for me. Cry all day. My family, you know, same thing. Jimitra Damore, known as Jimmy, was working as a temporary maintenance man at the Valley Stream Walmart store on Black Friday. That's the day after Thanksgiving. At about 5 a.m., the 34-year-old aspiring teacher was assigned with others to open the front doors to throngs of shoppers hoping to score a bargain. As hundreds of people rushed inside, Damore was trampled to death. So how it is that a temporary maintenance worker gets put in that spot, we're not entirely sure, but these are the kind of things we're looking at with regard to... Uh, how this happened. Mrs. Tellesman, alone in the world now, wants to know how her son could possibly die in a stampede. On her behalf, her attorneys will be filing lawsuits against Walmart, the mall, the security company, and the Nassau County Police Department. I don't have nobody. Only my son. Anything, my son. Everything, my son. Who, who carry me in the restaurant eat? Terrible for me. Terrible. The attorneys have a 90-day deadline, which takes them to the end of this month, in which to file their claims. Meanwhile, the federal agency OSHA and the Nassau County District Attorney's Office continue their investigation into the events surrounding Demore's death. From Lower Manhattan, Mike Sheehan, Fox 5 News. Walmart refused to comment on the case, citing pending litigation. And now to the economy in crisis, taking a live picture now on Capitol Hill as the Senate debates the nearly $900 billion stimulus bill tonight. Top New York lawmakers are having their say. Fox 5's Dick Brennan is live on the east side. He has more on this story for us tonight. Dick? Well, Harry, the debate does go on in Washington, as you point out. But in New York, there's a bigger question. The question is, how would that stimulus bill affect education? The new economic stimulus package, which is coming to the Senate floor this afternoon, I'm getting on a plane to go right down, is expected to include at least $5 billion for New York in direct fiscal aid. Senator Chuck Schumer says help is on the way, federal dollars from the stimulus package. We need all hands on deck to deal with the budget crisis. 
And we are pleased to be able to say that the federal government is going to lend a very significant hand. And Schumer says the federal goodie bag will also include money crucial for education. He says the city should get $1.8 billion for schools if the bill goes through as planned. The mayor warned if the city doesn't get the aid, some 14,000 education jobs are at risk. But it's my understanding that the Congress, and Chuck Schumer certainly deserves a lot of credit for the impetus of getting it going. He's not the only one by any means, but deserves a lot of the credit. Uh, that would alleviate the state from uh, hurting us. They could have their budget cut. And at the same time, we wouldn't get hurt. Some of the stimulus money must be set aside for specific programs like special ed. But Schumer says much of the federal aid comes without strings attached. Bloomberg says the city desperately needs federal and state help. And if it doesn't get it, it would mean devastating cuts. Somebody's got to pay. And uh, the city doesn't have any more money. And the same thing I can tell you is exactly true with police and fire and sanitation and uh, all of the uh, unionized workers in the city. Now, critics are saying that this stimulus bill in Washington is filled with pork, but Mayor Bloomberg says when you get a bill this big, that generally happens. The important thing is what comes back to New York. Harry. All right, Dick, thank you. Well, with New Jersey suffering staggering job losses, top lawmakers want to make sure that the Garden State doesn't get shortchanged in this stimulus plan. Fox 5's Barbara Evans Taylor with New Jersey's urgent appeal for money. All right, you're going to do it Wednesday. You're watching people sign up for unemployment insurance. It's not fun. The last job I worked was at a um, collection agency, and I went to work one morning. The woman said to me, I have no work for you. Unemployment has hit us hard. 324,900 people are out of work in New Jersey. I'm afraid of uh, being losing everything I have, my house, everything, because I don't know if I'll be able to afford my bills. That's why he and others are at this New Jersey unemployment office getting counseling and using the computers to look for jobs. Joan Lipsky is a wastewater scientist, and she's looking for a job in Dubai. Dubai Jobs, United Arab Emirates, I'll go anywhere in the world for a good job at this point in time. Because the job outlook is so bleak, Senator Robert Menendez and Congressman Steve Rothman use the unemployment office as a backdrop to talk about the economic stimulus plan. Rothman voted for it in the House last week. He seemed to be defending the vote today. This is the right investment for the country, and it is our moral obligation to provide this social safety net. Senator Menendez was headed to Washington, where the Senate took up the plan today. This package for economic recovery and reinvestment is about jobs, number one, jobs, number two, and jobs, number three. Menendez expects New Jersey to get $7 billion for projects including rebuilding schools and the proposed Hudson River commuter tunnel. It will produce jobs for quite a long period of time, and the economic ripple effect of the calculus of that is in the billions of dollars. Some job seekers, like this accounting clerk, are skeptical. That sounds like the unions are going to profit from that. Once the stimulus package passes, how fast the money trickles down and turns into real jobs is the most important thing for real people who are unemployed. Right now, all they can do is wait and hope. In Hackensack, New Jersey, Barbara Nevins-Taylor, Fox 5 News. Well, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is already planning her first diplomatic mission abroad. Word of her plans came on the same day that she was ceremonially sworn in by Vice President Biden at the State Department. President Obama for uh, investing the trust and confidence uh, in me uh, during a particularly challenging time in our nation's history. Aides say that Clinton is expected to make stops in Japan, South Korea and China as early as next week. It is called survivor's guilt, and as we continue at 6 o'clock tonight, the stress of working when your colleagues and friends are being laid off. Who handles it better, men or women? Find out next. And the unexpected surprise that Staten Island Chuck gave the mayor on this Groundhog Day. And say goodbye to the 50s, hello to a little rain, and then snow looks like a couple of inches for the area. I'll tell you when the worst will be and how it will affect your travels on Tuesday. And now let's get a look at the ride home from Fox 5 Traffic Authority, Carla Quinn. Hi, Harry. We're looking at the Grand Central here outside LaGuardia. We've had a great ride tonight. Let's hop into Brooklyn. There's the BQE. You can see outbound still very heavy below the Brooklyn Bridge. There's the east side. It's windy, but the FDR is moving at a good clip. And E as in egg trains are on the F as in Frank line from West 4th to 2nd Ave with mechanical problems. Fox 5 News will be right back.
If you've got a story you want Fox 5 News to investigate, call us at 1-877-TELL-FOX-5 or log on to our website at myfoxny.com. Closed captioning brought to you by Lexus. What factors should you consider when buying a luxury vehicle? Should you put MPG on top? What about resale or reliability? The truth is, when you fit all seven costs together, you'll see why the Lexus RX has the lowest cost of ownership in its class. See how your costs align at your Lexus dealer. Lease the 2009 RX 350 all-wheel drive for $399 a month for 36 months with $5,094 due at signing. At 1-800-DENTIST, we operate with one simple premise. If you love your dentist, you'll go consistently. And that means you'll look better, be healthier, and in the long run, save money by avoiding expensive dental work that can be caused by neglect. That's why we work so hard screening our dentist. And we have a live 24-hour call center and a detailed website to help you find that perfect dentist. So why not call or log on today? 1-800-DENTIST. Seriously, it's time. I only pay for this much carpet. But look at how much I got. It's Empire's 60% off event, when you can get a lot more carpet for a lot less. Choose from a wide selection of quality products right at home and save 60%. That's huge. Plus, we install next day and no payments till 2010. 60% off carpet won't last long. Call Empire today. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE. Today. I could see that Dan Briggs had all the ability in the world and wasn't using it. Harry Minnick was very caring about his students. He wanted to ensure that his students got the electronics education that they were there to get. I worked with Dan because I knew he had a lot of potential. Harry Minnick's students are among the best I've ever seen. The New Jersey Public Schools do an excellent job for preparing for vocational education for kids who are interested in trades. New Jersey Public Schools do an excellent job for preparing our students for today's workforce. It's time to start driving, America. And your Chrysler and Jeep dealers are doing whatever it takes to get you on the road. Announcing Employee Pricing Plus Plus. America, we're giving you our employee price on every Chrysler and Jeep vehicle. Plus, savings up to $5,000 on remaining 08 models or savings up to $4,000 on select 09 models. Plus, well-qualified buyers get 0% financing. Get a Chrysler Town & Country for under twenty-one dollars See your Chrysler and Jeep dealers today for Employee Pricing Plus Plus and get driving, America. Looks as though the federal judge involved in the Bernie Madoff case has some troubles of his own tonight. James Peck was arrested for hitting his wife in their Park Avenue apartment. The judge is overseeing the liquidation of Madoff's collapsed investment firm and the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers. He reportedly told cops that he and his wife had been married for 42 years and that he would never do it again and needs to go to counseling. But with more and more companies laying off more and more people, there is a new stress emerging in the workplace for people who still have jobs. It is called survivor guilt. You may be feeling it and not even know it. It can be triggered by something like this, an empty desk where one of your colleagues used to work. Suddenly, they are unplugged from the workforce, and you have to deal with the harsh reality. The first thing that they experience is often shock and denial. Then it's fear and anger what happened, what's going on, and disorientation. Right? So people have to deal with this constant flux around us. Joshua Ehrlich is a psychologist who deals with corporate outplacement and says that there may be the added stressor of your boss asking you to take on some of the workload of the very people who were laid off. More fear, more anxiety, more stress. So more need to focus and figure out what you're going to prioritize and where you're going to focus your attention. And just because you avoided the layoff acts for now doesn't necessarily mean that you will avoid it in the future. That's another stressor. Surprisingly, though, women are better equipped to handle that kind of stress. There are certain things that women have that we could take some lessons from, right? Like that getting support from friends, like that ability to take care of themselves and pamper themselves. Well, call it pampering or simply taking care of yourself. Now is the time to, to stay healthy, to watch your diet, and also keep up that exercise. Also, build a support network if you don't have one. The coworkers that you used to vent to are now gone, so you can find new sounding boards. You can use them. Try not to multitask. Taking on one job at a time and completing it 
keeps you from being overwhelmed by being a survivor of the layoffs and the tough economic times. Garden State's best and brightest honored. See the famous faces who are now part of New Jersey's Hall of Fame. And a new study on teenagers and vitamins. Are they taking them? And if they are, do they really need them? We'll have details. Tomorrow on Good Day, rain and snow could make for a messy morning commute. We'll check in with Mike Woods and get all the traffic trouble spots. Plus, we've got some great guests for you. Hey, yo, yo, check one, two. Flava Flav, plus... Idols Melinda Doolittle performs and the stars of the hit show Fringe. Good day tomorrow. You want to know what's the matter? My husband's had complications since the accident and he still can't work. Now I'm working two jobs and we can't make ends meet. We settled without a lawyer, but we should have called Jacoby and Myers. Don't let this happen to you. Call Jacoby and Myers. For years, our attorneys, investigators, and support staff have given our clients the power and technology other firms don't have. And there's no legal fee unless we win. Call 1-877-JM-LAWYER. It could be the most important call you'll ever make. So with Fios, I get the best picture quality, the fastest internet, and a multi-room DVR free for six months? Yes, yes, and yes. Nice. What about you? The best of intentions. When Verizon brings fiber optic straight to your home, you can upgrade your entertainment experience and get an HD multi-room DVR free for six months. Record shows in one room, watch them in up to six other rooms, even set programming times remotely. Try getting all that from cable. Enjoy the best HD quality, the fastest internet, and crystal clear phone service. Get it all together for just $94.99 a month with a one-year agreement. Call 1-866-699-FIOS to get Fios TV, ranked highest in overall customer satisfaction by J.D. Power & Associates. Ridiculously fast internet, plus an HD multi-room DVR free for six months. Call 1-866-699-FIOS today for this limited time offer. This is Fios. This is big. Governor Patterson, your health care budget cuts are definitely all wrong. I've been a nurse for 15 years, and I have never seen worse cuts. Closing hospitals is not the answer. Laying off nurses is not the answer. I can't imagine anybody who would defend closing nursing homes. I can't believe Governor Patterson is the one making this proposal. How could you do this? Why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to my family? Tell Governor Patterson protecting health care is the only answer. Take a look now at this brush fire near Route 3 in East Rutherford near Giant Stadium this afternoon. Officials had to shut down the highway and the ramp to Route 120 North while they battled the flames. It only took about 15 minutes to put it out. No word on how this started. And Skybox HD, over a messy situation in New Jersey, take a look at what happened to a car in Edison. For some reason, the driver went out of control, smashed right through the front window of a home. The driver was treated for injuries. No word if anyone inside the house was inside the house at the time. Well, what do Bon Jovi, Shaquille O'Neal, Jerry Lewis, what do they all have in common? They are all new members of the New Jersey Hall of Fame. Fox 5's Christine Persichetti has more on the Garden State greats. John Bon Jovi honored his home state with a song. Now his home state is honoring him in the New Jersey Hall of Fame. There's some pretty pretty neat people here, to be honest with you. The Garden State Rocker is one of 12 Hall of Famers this year, along with Jerry Lewis, Yankee shortstop oh, Phil Rizzuto, and funny men Abbott and Costello. What's the matter, are you thirsty? I'm not thirsty! My room is on fire! But the honor is especially significant for three of the inductees during this Black History Month. I'm one of the great voices, uh, both with music and with regard to um, civil rights that this country has ever had. The late Paul Robeson was one of the first African-American students at Rutgers where he was valedictorian and played four sports. Also honored the Jackie Robinson of tennis, Althea Gibson of East Orange, the first African-American to win a Grand Slam tennis event. Sandra West, curator at the Newark Public Library, tells us how she was discovered. Someone saw her play table tennis and said yes. New Jersey Hall of Fame voters said yes to Shaq. Shaq gets inside. 
Shaquille O'Neal shines on the hardwood, but even more so in his hometown of Newark. He's focused on his game, and he's won all those championships, and he's done it in a clean kind of way, you know, so the young people look up to him. So all of these famous New Jerseyans will be formally inducted into the Hall of Fame on May 3rd here at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center, which will also soon be home to one of the Hall of Fame's new satellite museums. In Newark, Christine Persichetti, Fox 5 News. Well, from the Garden State to, uh, well, the Keystone State, Puxatawney Phil was pulled out of his hole in Pennsylvania just after dawn this morning. 13,000 fans, most of them wearing their Steelers colors, cheered on the world's most famous groundhog. Now, even though he saw his shadow, meaning six more weeks of winter. Different story, though, on Staten Island, where Mayor Bloomberg held up a feisty Chuck who did not see his shadow, so that means an early spring. Things did get a bit nippy, though, today when Chuck took a bite out of the mayor's finger. Nothing serious, though, we are told. He went after him, Nick, I got to tell you. He, he wanted to get him out of there. I see that. <laughs> yeah, a little aggressive Ooh, little guy. Serious, yeah. <laughs> well, they're all, of course, just rodents. So no. <laughs> if you believe their forecasting, you know, it makes great storytelling, but that's, that's right. about as far as it'll go. <laughs> but I can tell you, Harry, that our weather's going to get a lot more interesting again around here. If you can believe temperatures today that were in the 50s to change into snow as we head on into tomorrow. And uh, look at Fox 5 Sky Guardian 3D already showing the leading edge of some of the moisture coming our way. Again, it is snow across the northwestern Pennsylvania up into parts of the upper Hudson Valley, but it is still just rain showers on the leading edge of this that will move into the area later on tonight. You can see it's kind of a swath of moisture that goes right down across West Virginia. And there'll be a developing storm here in the southeastern states. That will intensify offshore. Whew, that's a close call because that could have been a major nor'easter here. It's bad enough that we're still going to be getting into the colder air and a bit of snowfall here tomorrow. All right, let's talk about today. I hope you enjoyed it. Boy, it was grand out there, wasn't it? 52, 39 the split. Average high should be 39. Record high 59. That was in 1988. But it's also been as cold as minus 3 on this date. 45 now. The clouds thickening up. Wind out of the north. That will bring in the colder air tonight. Pressure temporarily rising in advance of the storm that will start to fall. 39 now at Islip. 38 Poughkeepsie. 45 in mid down 41 down the Jersey Shore, so temperatures again going down about a degree or two per hour here. Northwest New Jersey, seeing the clouds thickening up now at Hamburg, 37, Rahway 45, Ridgewood coming in at 45 degrees as well. And again, the winter weather advisories, they're here, northern New Jersey. They do not include the city yet. They go down to Monmouth County and south of that, it's winter storm watch. This is all generally for tomorrow, or later tonight really, on into tomorrow. So what we're going to be watching here, let's jump right into the future cast because I want to show you that that snow will be coming in to our forecast overnight. Look at the timestamp. So it'll be light rain at first, then light snow for your morning commute. Probably not accumulating that much in the morning. The worst of this is going to be tomorrow afternoon on to the first half of tomorrow night, and then it goes away, but we turn much colder as we head on in towards uh, Wednesday. So that's, again, you saw that snowfall graphic go by quickly, but it's about two to four inches of snow for most of the area. This will be setting up in bands, so it's not out of the question. There's an isolated five inch amount somewhere here and there, but generally I think two to as much as four inches, depending upon where you are. Light rain will change to light snow overnight as temperatures head down to the low and middle 30s. Periods of snow with falling temperatures tomorrow will be in the upper 20s late in the afternoon. Again, the worst of the snow really again in the afternoon into tomorrow night. That's when it'll start to accumulate. Wednesday, gusty breeze, flurries 28. Only 28 Thursday morning, low 13, but nice recovery. 38 Friday into the 40s, even low 50s as we move through the upcoming weekend. Harry? All right, Nick, thanks very much. Fox 5 Health News tonight. About a third of children in our country take vitamins, but most of them don't really need to. There's a new study, and it found healthy children with varied diets are more likely to take vitamins unnecessarily. Children who could benefit from the supplements, however, are less likely to take them. And now here's Andy with what's coming up in sports. Hey, Harry. Well, spring training is only a couple weeks away, but the question is, what's up with Oliver Perez? Well, we've got some answers coming up next in sports. A worldwide scam attacking ATM machines. We've never seen one on this scale. Fox 5 exposes how thieves drained 9 million from customers tonight at 10. News brought to you by the first ever Pontiac G8. Build your own at Pontiac.com G8. Your Buick Pontiac GMC dealer wants you to know when it comes to efficient performance, facts are facts. The 361 horsepower V8 G8 GT beats BMW 550i 0 to 60 and still offers better highway fuel economy. G6 offers 33 highway MPG and beats Toyota Camry LE. Or qualified buyers get 4.9% APR financing for 60 months on a 2009 Pontiac G8 sedan V6. Plus get the best coverage in America. See your local Buick Pontiac GMC dealer.
Investing in our infrastructure is important. The roads, bridges, and energy grids that our future depends on. But our future also depends on our children. New York City public school teachers work hard to give them the quality education they deserve. Kids rarely get a second chance. So even in difficult times, investing in our children cannot be put on hold because good public schools are the foundation of a strong society. Hey, Optimo, check out my commercial. Hey, it's the Optimum Triple Play. IOTV has what you want to see. Music, sports, and your favorite movies. Hundreds of channels plus free HD. Just twenty nine ninety five is so crazy. 877-333-4009. With Optimum Online, get super fast speed. Download videos, whatever you need. Surfing's never been more fun, you'll see. At twenty nine ninety five, this deal is so sweet. 877-333-4009. Talk all you want with Optimum Voice. With one flat rate, it's the smartest choice. U.S., Canada, or Puerto Rico. 29.95, you can even call Joe. 877-333-4009. Get the triple play, cause the price is low. Call today and you'll save some dough. Let's save some dough. They were left for dead. When he first came, he would only lie on his side. The miracle treatment giving these kitties a second chance at life. Tomorrow on Fox 5 News at 5. Tonight's HD lineup on Fox 5 is presented by the New York Post and Verizon Wireless, America's most reliable wireless and number one in New York Metro. He's coming back after months of will he or won't he. Oliver Perez has reached a preliminary agreement on a three-year deal with the Mets at $36 million. But first, Perez must pass a physical, and that is scheduled for tomorrow. Moving on to football, we know you saw it last night. It was one of the best Super Bowls ever, although I am partial to last year, but this one had all of the elements, including a great game-winning catch by Santonio Holmes. And after the game, Hines Ward had some advice for the Super Bowl MVP. He just told me, you know, just stay humble. Um, the things are going to come for me. Uh, just, just be ready to represent, you know, my family, uh, this team, and uh, this whole organization. And, uh, you know, I'm really, really excited, you know, about getting back to Pittsburgh uh, for this parade, you know, so that uh, we can definitely enjoy it all together. I didn't know if his feet was in. I couldn't really see it when he caught it. I thought it might have been out of bounds, but, you know, what a great play by Tony. He's been doing it all season, and, you know, big-time players make big plays. Tyree action going on there. As for the cards, they came so close and Kurt Warner had a heck of a game, but no victory to show for it. Now the question is, will Kurt be back for another year? I don't know if I'm going to play next year. I, I haven't thought about that. I'm going to enjoy what we just accomplished as a football team. I'm going to enjoy this great game that we just played in, and I'm going to take some time away from the game, and, uh, and then I'll make that decision. All right, Knicks fans, I'm talking to you. Simply put, this week is going to be awesome. Lakers, Cavs, Celtics, Kobe, LeBron, Pierce. It's going to be a good one, and it all kicks off tonight. The Knicks are playing the best teams in the NBA, but Coach says the guys are ready to go. This is a big week for us, and uh, a lot of statement games coming up. and see if we can do it. You know, we know that the teams we're going up against are really, really good, and there's three of them in a row, so we'll see what happens. And tonight on MyFoxLocker.com, we want to congratulate the Dobbs Ferry track team. These guys had a great meet this past weekend, and now they're getting ready for their final meet on Sunday. Good luck, gentlemen. It's MyFoxLocker.com for everything you want to know about high school sports. And only a few minutes ago, we told you about Oliver Perez's contract. But, Harry, I understand you have another contract to tell us about. Well, that, that's right, Andy. Uh, you know, you think baseball players make a lot of money. Check out what the baseball commissioner makes. Bug Seelig pulled in $17.5 million in 2007. That followed a $3 million raise. And at the same time, his salary was higher than all but three players, A-Rod, Derek Jeter and Jason Giambi. Busy day in the Fox 5 newsroom. Let's check in with Ernie Anastas for a look at what's coming up on the news tonight at 10 o'clock. Ernie. Thank you, Harry. Coming up tonight at 10, dirty talk from Elmo. A warning to parents about this toy, what it says that has so many very angry tonight. 
And also, Nick has the uh, latest information for us. He's tracking the rain and snow heading our way. We'll have school closings or delays for tomorrow. All of that tonight when we see you on Fox 5 News at 10 o'clock tonight. Back to you, Harry. All right, Ernie, thank you very much. Speaking of which, you've been tracking this thing, right? Yes, and it uh, looks like we'll be having that light rain overspread the area later on tonight. And then it's snow tomorrow, the worst of it tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. That's when it'll really accumulate. By the time it's all said and done, Harry, it looks like about two to four inches for the area. And then it's back into the icebox. Just for a couple of days, though, because you can see by the time we get to the weekend, nice recovery. All right. Well, it's an exciting day tomorrow, right? Sure. That's it for Fox 5 News at 6. I'm Harry Martin. For Nick and Andy, thank you for joining us. Stay tuned now for TMZ on TV. It's coming up next.